Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the player ratings. Hull City 2, Everton 3, Everton to the fourth round of the FA Cup. Just about after a poor display. Just poor, poor all round, to be honest. Um, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. Begovic in goal. I was fearful for this position because Jordan Pickford is our number one and Begovic hasn't been great, let's be honest, um, in the cup games he's played and in the one Premier League game. But he made um, made a couple of really big saves. They won in the first half when it was 1-0, uh, just after they'd scored to tip it over. Um, and the one in the second half was, was fantastic. Um, it was 3-2, it was coming to the end, point blank. And to keep it out, I don't know how he kept it out, to be honest. I don't know how it, how it didn't go in. Um, but he's made a wonder stop there. Absolute wonder stop to, to get us into the next round of the FA Cup. So, uh, big well done to him. I'm sure he'll be having a ride on his wife's horse. Or maybe not. I don't I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe he's not allowed on a horse. I don't know. Um, but he's, he's done brilliantly well there. So, I've given him an 8.5 for those saves. Absolutely brilliant. And well done to him because he hasn't played for a while and it must be difficult when I mean, you're training every day and you get an opportunity to play. And fair dues, fair dues to him. Um, the defense obviously it was like a three, it was a three um, man defense which started the game really, really poorly. Um, individually, I think I think individually the players were were okay. It's more, it's more <laughs> together. If that makes sense, it's hard to like pick holes in their individual performances, but but as a unit, we look all over the place. Defensively, as a unit, we look shambolic. Um, but there was but without there wasn't individual mistakes as such today. It was just as a unit, we look really poor, and that has to come from the training pitch. So, Michael Keane, I thought Michael Keane stepped out of the out of the out of the defense really well today, um, but. He's got to start governing that defence. He has to be the leader. He has to be what brings it together. He has to be the organiser, and he's not. And Everton are crying out for a leader at the back that we've had for years, a Jag Yelka, a um, Alan Stubbs, David Weir type, a Dave Watson, a, you know, Derek Manfield, Kevin Ratcliffe before them. They're just it, We're just crying out for that kind of defender. And at the back, Yeri Mina, yes, is that kind of player, but we cannot rely on him. And once you can't rely on a player, then um, there's no point. You need players you can rely on. So, um, Michael Keane tries his best, but he's not what we need because he doesn't really fill the role of anything. He's supposed to be the experienced player back there, and he just he isn't that player. And when you haven't got that player or you've got to force that player into the back line, whether it be Seamus Coleman... You've got you've got problems. So he was all right today. I've given him, give him a six. He was he was okay, but he you know we need desperately need someone else in there. Seamus Coleman, um, again, in it, on the ball, fine, um, defended, okay, looked a little bit lost at times, but always works hard, always does a job, um. But, you know, isn't good enough, is he? He's not, you know, he's getting to the latter stage of his career. We need Patterson in there as soon as we can to uh, to give us the energy that we need from right back or right wing back or whatever it is. Um, He was all right. He was okay today. Again, I've given him a six. I, 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 it's hard to find massive faults with these players, as in when they're in their individual performances. It's them together as a unit where we really suffer. As I said, the set pieces are just we just look dreadful from set pieces, um, and that's a collective. That's a collective. If I was to give the defense a whole rating, I'd give it like a two, because it just looks dreadful. Uh, ben Godfrey, again. Individually, but, mm. I, I I still don't think this lad's a true defender, and I don't think he will be till he gets someone next to him who can see him through games, talk to him, tell him where he needs to be all the time. I think his positioning is sometimes a little bit off. I think his pace gets him out of a lot of trouble. 
Um, I think um, I don't think he spots danger quick enough. So uh, I'll give him a five and a half today. It was all right, but no, he wasn't all right, was he? But as I say, it's the unit. The, the defensive unit is, is all over the place. Um, John Joe Kenny was fa- all right. Another assist. Another assist. That's two games, two assists. I thought once we settled down, I thought he got higher up the pitch. And once he got higher up the pitch, I thought he was... He got into dangerous areas. And I think whoever, wh- wherever John Joe Kenny goes, he'll be fine playing that role of just being someone who gets in and around the box and puts balls into the box. I thought this ball was really a really intelligent, really intelligent ball. He just stood it up and he just and he just hoped someone was in there. And luckily enough, Andre Gomez was. Um so I've given John Joe six and a half. But he did once he got going, he got higher up the pitch and I thought thought he did well certainly for the goal. Uh, Michael Enko, difficult start for him. Tough start. Um Certainly the first 15, 20 minutes. You know, you could see him trying to keep it nice and simple. Um, he gave away a foul on, I think it was just on the edge of half time, wasn't it? Which he picked up a yellow card for. And that would have made it really difficult for him in the second half. Every time someone looked like they were going past them. The hardest part about the difference between when you come into this country is the pace. It's all about that pace. The pace that we played the game at is really, really 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 difficult for some players to pick up it's the thing they really struggle with so today when players were going past them even at even at championship level they were going past them with with pace and if you're not up to speed with that what are you going to do the players are going to want the past year or you're going to put a leg in and he got booked for basically putting a leg in so he couldn't really do that second half so it made it difficult for him i thought he looked better once he actually went to left back rather than left wing back I think when he went to left back, he looked a little bit more composed and a little bit better on the ball. I think he grew into the game a little bit more. Don't get me wrong; I don't think he was, I don't think he was brilliant or anything, but it was tough for him. But we'll see that as he goes on the next few weeks. He's gonna play. He's gonna play games. Let's be honest; he's gonna play games because he's our left back now. Luca Dean is going out the door, and this kid is our left back, so he's gonna play games. So he's gonna pick up um, more and more. Um, games apparently Sofa score said he was our best player that's interesting um, he wasn't he wasn't our best player at all but he will he needs games of football but he will get games of football and I think with Ben Godfrey next to him he's got the cover he's got the pace in the cover um, so he was fine today I've given him a 6 because it's first game in English football and it's not easy when you come into these kind of games an FA Cup tie against the team that are given everything, who don't who don't don't let it settle down. So I think I think he was I think he was fine. He's, he, it was tough for him, and I, I, that comes down to the pace of the game. Nothing else. He looked okay on the get on the ball. He wanted to get forward. He got in there. He got in there half. He got into their box. It's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. He just needs to be allowed that time, and no one makes any stupid, ridiculous snap judgments on him, which I've already seen. Um, so I've given him a six. Into midfield, Alan. I thought Alan. I thought Alan played really well today. He was pressing. That's what he wants to do. He presses players. He just needs more players with him. He needs more players to go pressing. He presses and he he took the ball off them quite a few times all game. Though right to the end, right to the end, he was driving forward. That to me is why he's not a number six. That to me is why we need a number six. Why we need someone who sits in front of the back four. Because that's not what Alan does. Alan does what he done today, which is go hunting for the ball. Well then you have if you go hunting for the ball, you have no protection in front of the back four. The core is not the protection. Gomez certainly isn't the protection. So I thought he did really well today, but it showed to me today. Well, it should, it, anyone who watching shows he's not a natural six. He will not sit in front of that back four um, and take the ball off the back four or or just hold like a Garner would. I mean, I, I'd absolutely love, I'd absolutely love a Garner back or a Garner type back um, to just sit in front of that back four, but that's not Alan. But I thought Alan played really well today. People might see it differently, but I thought he 
he kept on he kept on stopping them from playing he kept on nicking the ball he kept on trying to push forward the ball he's got energy he's got drive i just think he's been like mislabeled by by everton by both Everton managers, we need to play three in midfield in the Premier League and we need someone to sit and he's not that person to sit. So, I've given him an eight today. I thought he was excellent. I thought he was excellent and I just think we need someone in there who's going to sit in front of the back four and allow him to do that job and then allow Decore to be a number eight and push forward and drive into the opposition box because that's Decore's not a sitter. He's not a hold. He doesn't hold. Um, so I thought Alan was excellent today. Uh, Gomez, Gomez, I thought once he got past that first twenty minutes, was brilliant in possession, and scored the goal, deserved the goal. Gomez in possession, really, really good. Out of possession, not necessarily that good. I reckon Gomez can go to Portugal or somewhere in Spain and be amazing. With the pace of the game is a little bit slower. I think today when you're seeing him on the ball, that's what he's technically Gomez. Is a fantastic footballer. I just don't think he's up to the pace of the Premier League. I think he wants too much time on the ball. And average players can nick the ball off him. Technically, I just think he's he's fantastic. But he just isn't up to the pace of the of the Premier League, sadly. Um but I and but in possession today I don't I thought he did really well. And it was great to see him score a goal because I think he's only ever scored against um Wolves twice. So it was really good. Wolves and Tigers, which is best. Um, so I've given him a seven. I've given him a seven. Again, he's another player who needs another player in there with him. Three in there. I think we maybe just about got away with it today. But then again, look at the end of the game, how many midfielders we had. Um, but Gomez, Gomez in possession was great. was great for part of the game. But again, drifted out of it because he had to. He went off. Um, Damari Gray. Damari Gray was our, our spark, wasn't he? He was our absolute spark today. Every time he got the ball, he just looked like something was going to happen. The goal he scored was brilliant. Lovely little one-two with him and Anthony Gordon when we were just... It just brought us out of that first 20 minutes that or whatever it was. Uh, yeah, it was 20 minutes, wasn't it? Just brought us out of that spell. We scored just exactly at the right time. And it was a lovely little give and go. And then every time he had it from then on, the change of pace was 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 brilliant. The only thing that disappointed me today was I think he should have got two or three. I really do. I think there was times where it just sort of in front of goal where it just become too easy for him. There was one there was one just after they scored where he certainly should have scored. He bent it round the keeper and just went wide. But I think he. Sh- that's what I think. I was a little bit disappointed with him after he scored because I think he should have got. I think he should have got a couple more. Um, I think it sort of almost got too easy for him. But he that the foul on him certainly affected him when he got that whack. That that you could see him. He couldn't. He wasn't. He was just almost hobbling around the pitch, and then when he needed to run, he run. That's why I thought it was strange to take Gordon off. I think that was after he got the whack. Because it, it felt to me like if anyone was going to come off, it had to be Gray because he was struggling. And I hope, you know, if the game on Tuesday, well, obviously the game is going to be played on Tuesday at the moment, but Leicester look like trying to call it off. It looked like to me he should he would be the play because he's carrying an injury. And I hope that doesn't come to cost us, you know, when he hasn't, he hasn't played on with an injury because you could see he was clearly struggling. But he shows the difference, and what a what a signing he's been! What a fantastic signing he's been! Unbelievable for the price we've paid. Another goal today, and he just terrified them all game. Every time, and it was the there was one little instant where he picked up the ball, and he was practically walking, and then he went from a walk to a sprint straight away, and it just terrified them. And we should have scored more goals. We really should have scored more goals, um, and he should have scored more goals. So I've give him a uh, an eight point five. But he should have scored second. Um, Anthony Gordon again today showed, you know, more. Um, he just showed how he's coming on more and more as a player. The setup for Gray's goal, love little one and one two. Didn't hold on to it. Just give him a straight back. Should have scored when he hit the post. Um, had a couple of opportunities second half, one with his first touch, let him down, pushed him wide and he got a shot off. 
And I was really disappointed when we took him off because when we took him off, we had two real threats. And when we took him off, we only we suddenly reduced reduced the you know we reduced that and we were only going through grey then. Whereas when both were on the pitch, it looked like they were really happy to play off each other. So I thought again another good performance, another assist. Um, I get, should have grabbed the goal. Had a couple, had another opportunity where he was in and he leaned back and put it over the bar in the first half. And but he's growing. You can see he's growing all the time. He's growing in his play and he's getting better and better. I thought really, he re- you could really tell the difference between him and their players, which I think is a big factor because beforehand, beforehand he was maybe looking on par with some of those players. And he wins fouls. I don't give a monkey's what anyone says about does he go he goes down too early. No, he wins fouls. That's what he does. He wins fouls. Dead simple. You know, like when he won a foul that got us a pointer at Chelsea, he wins fouls. So I've given him seven and a half. Um Rondon. Big tree. Just stands up there. So there was one second half where he puts the back to the goal and I'm just thinking, just tear up, tear for Gordon. And he doesn't, he just falls over it. He should have come off after like an hour. Listen, he won some flicks, he won some headers, he won... Um, he kept the centre-backs where they should be. But he just doesn't do enough, does he? He doesn't do enough. And... He should have come off after about 75 minutes, I think. Really. And allowed. Maybe Tosin should have come on then. And Dobbin come on for... It's hard to say Gray, because Gray is... Gray was always the threat. But... I think there was parts of his game where he did all right. And then there's other parts, like actually shooting at the goalkeeper and stuff, where and actually running, where he, was, where he wasn't very good. Um. So yeah, I've given him a four. Uh, difficult to argue with that, really. But there's not much. There's no. I keep on reiterating this point. If you're gonna put, if you if you want to put Dobbin up front, then you might as well put Gray up front, or you might as well put Anthony Gordon up front because they're the same kind of player. Ellis Sims not on the bench. Tosin was. So if you're gonna replace him, you have to replace him with Tosin. Is what he did. If you're going to play like for like, if you want to go with the tactics, they're the players. You might as well have, you might as well have Gray up front. Um, but hopefully Dom's back soon and that's it. Then Dom plays every game. The subs, the Corey. I was a bit disappointed with the Corey when he came on. I think the Corey should have come on a 2-1 because he we need to just grab the midfield and go out and win the game. But he didn't. He waited until it was 2-2. Then he brought him. I was a bit disappointed with him, to be honest. I thought... I thought he was um I thought he was poor in possession and he wasn't driving forward enough. Um I've given him a five to be honest. Townsend, come on. Um I didn't really like the sub, but to be honest, if I'm honest, I thought Gray should uh, sorry, I thought Gordon should have stayed on the pitch. I thought Townsend could have come on a little bit later. I just thought it was a bit early to make that sub. It felt like we were settling for the two one. And don't forget this is a player who's been out since the Crystal Palace game. So that's what nearly a month. It's been out for nearly a month. Two one up. They made three subs. Um, I thought we could have left Gordon on for a while, a little bit longer. But listen, he came on, and he smashes in the winner. So what can I say? He smashes in the winner. I don't know whether the keeper should have done better. I don't know whether that's harsh on Townsend. But he smashed in the winner. I've given six and a half because I don't think he did anything else apart from do that. But. He done that, so well done to him for coming back and getting some um, getting some time under his belt. Um, John Philippe Gabaman again, he was he was he was okay, but you can his legs are his legs are not there. He doesn't I don't know. He just doesn't have the ability to get around the pitch. I thought he did a bit better than the Corey, but um, yeah, I I don't know. He's not. He did all right when he came on, but he's. I think if we can get him out on loan, then that'll be good for him, and then we can make a decision. He needs games. He's not going to get them in the Premier League, um. But 
yeah, he was all right. I've given five and a half. Um, the other subs, Dobbin. Dobbin was uh, came on. He gave us some a bit of energy. He was breaking. He was he made a couple of little nice runs. There was one from I think it was their corner late on, and he broke with it, and he just took a heavy touch, and I think he allowed he allowed one of their players. Um, to to get back and slide in, which with a bit more care he was through. There was another one on the left hand side where he was in a, I think he was stuck in a nice little trick and he got past the defender. So he def he had he's got energy, he's got pace, um, and he was he he did all right when he came on. He's I keep on saying it. He's not a centre forward. He's not a centre forward. He's he's like Gray. He's like Gordon. So. That's when that's the kind of play you get from him, coming running with the ball from deep. Um, I thought he did good when he, I thought he did well when he came on. Uh, how long was he on for? About ten minutes, fifteen minutes. I'll give him a six and a half. He did all right when he came on. Um, and Tosin wasn't really on long enough, was he? Although if he could have been settled for a goal, but he wasn't on long enough. But he's 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 done, isn't he? He's done. Um, yeah, there you go. Listen, Everton need. Richarlison back. They need Dominic Carvalho in fully fit. And hopefully he'll be available for our next Premier League game. And we go from there and then he gets the fitness. And then we won't have to worry about a about a uh, Rondon. And someone like Dobbin can start getting more time playing playing in one of the p- positions off the centre forward. And that, because that's his position. And I'm going to say that all the time. I'm going to say that as many times as I can. That's his position. There you go. Listen, we're in the hat. It wasn't very good. Um, and, yeah. So, my man of the match... Man of the match is... Was Gray or Begovic. Take your pick. Uh, Kevin Friend gets a minus 500. He was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. So... There you go. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, who you think. I think there was a little bit, bit of a poll going before... And it and it was Gray. Everyone thought Gray was the man of the match. Was fair enough. He was. He was. He was. He was brilliant. And I, but I still think he should have got an attic. There you go. But we should, we should have had two penalties, definitely. So there you go. Uh, make sure you check out Pass's videos, and uh, we'll be doing the final word on Monday live over on Patreon. If you want to join us on Patreon, the link is in the description. It'll be on the screen as well. Check out Baz's videos. Check out Astro's videos as well. Always very entertaining view from America. Thanks for watching, and see you later.